I'm Senator Bob Corker from Tennessee, and I'm honored to serve as Chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Over the last several weeks, Congress has been reviewing the nuclear agreement between Iran, the United States, and other world powers. I was absolutely a skeptic of giving this president more power. He negotiated a bad deal with Iran. He breaks the law routinely. I don't know why Congress would want to concede more authority to him. Bobby, you were in the Congress, and all I can tell you to everybody here, if you want to repeal Obamacare, get a new president. As a friend and fellow Republican, I want to shoot straight. I'm not going to spend any time trying to talk you out of another censure. The role that so many veterans in Virginia have played for our country, you can't help but be humbled and honored to be standing right here. It is the economic driver of this state. We all benefit when agriculture does well. And so we need to build on those strengths that we have, and our land-grant institution is obviously a, a place where that happens. With schools not being open and the challenges that brings and making sure their children are being educated, when we have child care centers that have closed because there aren't enough children attending their facilities. There's a great deal of disconcertion and a great deal of panic. Uh, they haven't had a clear sense of what the governor intends to do. Uh, they feel a bit disrespected by his glib denial and denouncement of their star property, which are the actors. Oh, good heavens mercy, no. <laughs> I'm here to help my colleagues and to make certain that uh, the party is ready for what we're going to have in 22. We've got great candidates all up and down the up and down the ballot. Hey, I put revenues on the table, but a lot of people in this town can never say yes. A lot of people can never say yes. This House has acted, and it is time for the administration and time for our colleagues across the aisle Put something on the table. Tell us where you are. I didn't deal with one country. I dealt with 193. It's the experience that you have, but more importantly, it's the results. Look at what we did when I was governor of South Carolina. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Sean, Secretary Treasurer Booker, and the Governing Board of Presidents for your remarkable leadership of the building trades unions. Is that, I mean, <laughs> seriously, that's uh, new territory. Uh, it has uh, been the most frustrating thing I've ever dealt with. And the idea of the bill was all good. Uh, the timeline for the technology was not so good. Vermont is not alone in this fight. Governor Cuomo tried to get me last night, and the, he couldn't get me, and the staffs exchanged notes. Governor Cuomo was supportive of this legislation as well. 